Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I want to give you guys the last two weeks of expenses that we have been uh, using as a family. I think it's important to know what other people are spending, uh, just to know kind of where you match up on different categories and things like that. Uh, once a month I'll show you what our budget is. I think I did that in the last video, but right now I'm just going to show you what we actually spent and the categories that we spent them in. So let's start right now. So this uh, starts on July 24th and I just do a date for it per page and so the next one is going to be uh, August 1st and then August 8th. So 24, so this is about two weeks span. So we gave a homeless person on the street one dollar in cash. Um, clay pot, uh, we went and got dinner there for grocery expense. It was thirty-five dollars and fourteen cents, uh, and we tipped uh, two fifty. We tip, we do tip more than that usually, um, but that was takeout. And I don't really know the rules on tipping for takeout. It seems like you just kind of stand there at the counter and then you get it. So sometimes we do. Most of the times, if we do, it's very small. Um, we usually just do a majority of the tipping if we're being waited on by a server. But anyway, you probably didn't need to know all that. Just so you don't think I'm super cheap. Um, but that was takeout. Uh, our cleaner for the Airbnb, we paid $180. It seems to be about average, $180 a week to $120. Um, we got, our, uh, my wife got her hair cut for $30 and she tipped $10. So the uh, personal expense for her and then the um, uh, and then the donation was ten dollars, so we put that in donation category. We just like to look at that uh, once a year, just to make sure that we're being generous um, enough. At least ten percent is our goal um, of money that's going out that's get, being given to um, uh, like donation type things. Then we went and got gas in our car for forty-one dollars and three cents. And this is now the start of our big road trip. So you're gonna see a lot of gas in the car and things like that on the road. Uh, family dollar, really cool story. We donated $32. Uh, the kids donate money. Uh, I just felt like we were supposed to give money to this family dollar on our first stop of our road trip. And I didn't know why. And I asked her at the front, hey, is there like a donation area? She did not say that there was one. Um, but she said, Boys and Girls Club will be here next month. So I said, here, take this cash, put it in that. And then she also said, um, or I also said, if some if you know someone doesn't have money for groceries or whatever, just you know help them out. And um, and the kids' money was in this Tupperware bin, and Lila got sick on the next leg of the road trip, and we needed that Tupperware bin, and we needed it empty so that she could use it uh, to get sick into. So I don't know if that was the reason why we were supposed to give that money there, so we'd have an empty Tupperware bin. But hopefully that money went to somebody who really needed it, or the Boys and Girls Club of that small town. Um, okay. So we got $2.26 of groceries at the next stop. I believe that was just some water for the, a big jug of water for the back of the car and a, a coffee for my wife. Then we got $42.51 at the next gas station in gas for a car expense. Then we spent $64.85 at a place called Thai Tip. Uh, we put this as donation money because we bought uh, food for my friend and his wife and um, we bought some for ourselves too, but it was just more of like a giving opportunity. Um, and so that's why we did that. We just felt called that that was donation money in that case. Um, went to Chick-fil-A and uh, mostly it was for the kids, the kids budget. And they were $26.85 for the Chick-fil-A kids meals. Uh, we donated to our local church uh, $721. Um, and then we don't always tithe, but we, we do the best we can. Um, we felt called to give at that time. Then we went and got $45.34 worth of gas at the next stop. And at that same place, we also spent $7.05. I think we probably bought some um, oatmeal uh, cups or something like that for breakfast. Uh, that was a family expense of $7.05. Then we um, spent $10.81 at Apple as a family expense. And that is, uh, I believe, for music, for Apple Music for the kids. Um, and then a work expense for Apple was 99 cents. Uh, Maverick uh, gas station we spent in grocery budget $1.33 is probably for a coffee for my wife. Uh, we spent $162.30 as a work expense for Airbnb. Uh, we stayed at one of the Airbnbs, a couple Airbnbs on the road and we use that as research purposes for our own Airbnb. So we do write off a few Airbnb trips every year. That was actually $100 off because Airbnb also gave us $100 uh, for Superhosts 
So it's supposed to be 262, so we were happy about that discount. We went to the Dinosaur Museum, which is a really cool place, and Greta spent $5 of her personal spend money, and Theo spent $1 of his personal spend money um, in cash. And then we went to a gas station and got $65.67 worth of gas. We went to a Burger King and $20.29. Every so often we'll do a work um, meal and um, you know, if we're talking about work or things like that or maybe I'm entertaining a client or things like that for real estate, um, we'll put some meals on the work expense. You're allowed to write off 50% of that meal and every once in a while it's a good idea just to have a restaurant budget going forward for your work. So we did put that on work and not on groceries. Um, next was um, a Maverick gas station. Uh, we spent $1.38 in grocery money and we also went to Flying J next and we spent $1.05 in grocery money. Again, these are probably just bottles of water or coffee. And then we spent $41.10 as a work expense at another restaurant. Again, uh, same restaurant excuse for using work money for that. Um, and work money's not in my budget. It's, it's a separate budget of money that comes in from work and it's always about zero all the time. It always zeroes itself out. So someday I'll probably, well, I don't know. It's too complicated to probably create a budget for that. So we're just gonna stick with the family budget. We spent $69.73 at gas at the next stop for a car expense. And then we spent $12 getting our car washed. Um, and that was in Boise, Idaho. Next is 8-1 or August 1st. Uh, Albertsons, the kids spent $14.96 of kids budget. We were probably just getting them some food or something like that. And then donation, $11 even. Uh, we may have given something there. I don't remember exactly what that $11 was for. We paid for Disney Plus as a family expense for one cent. And then uh, we paid our house cleaner again for the Airbnb uh, for the duplex, $120 for the week. Um, we paid a dollar for Patreon, which is where we have some educational, sorry, I cut this. Okay, educational podcasts and things like that um, for $1 that, that month. And then Wheelhouse is how we do our pricing for our Airbnb. They charge $19.99 a month. They have all kinds of unique prices and they usually save us at least that every month by um, upping our prices on popular weekends. Uh, we paid 55, and these are all work expenses, all these last three. $55.28, another work expense for the internet at the duplex for the Airbnb. Then we have a family expense for YouTube uh, subscription, $13.01. We paid our rent uh, later that day, we usually paid on the 3rd, so this is now the 3rd of August, it was $1,900. Uh, we paid for our renter's insurance at 1867, that protects everything in the property that we're renting currently, it's all the possessions inside of it, so if the house burns down, the homeowner's insurance takes care of that house, but all of our stuff would be gone. And so we pay only $18.67 a month to protect, I believe it's like twenty-five dollars or $30,000 worth of stuff inside. Um, we probably don't have that much in there as far as that expense, but we, we may if you add it all up. Uh, Airbnb, we had another stay for $197.61. That was our stay in Salt Lake City, or near Salt Lake City, I believe in a town called Salem, Utah. Um, then we paid $6.48 at Hulu for a family expense. $45 at Sinclair for gas for that month. Uh, we paid $3.53 at another gas station for some grocery expenses. We were eating out of a lot of gas stations. We, we traveled 10 hours a day uh, with four kids in the car. So we weren't stopping at like full on restaurants. We did that the first few road trips a few years ago and it's hard to find good stuff on the road anyway. So we brought a lot of food with us and we just stopped quickly for bathrooms and things like that. Um, then we spent $7.98 at uh, KFC at McDonald's um, for, for dinner that night. Grocery budget was $7.98 and then the kids all got McDonald's for $33.24 and we put that on the kids budget. Sometimes if the kids are just eating without us uh, or getting food for the kids, uh, we'll do it on just the kids budget. Um, Costco, we spent $111.47. That was stuff that we had delivered to our house. It was dog food and things like that. Um, we don't have the dog anymore. We gave it to uh, my wife's parents because we were just not giving her enough attention and they uh, just had a dog pass away. And so it was a good situation for everybody, including the dog that they lived with them. 
but we were buying dog food at one point. Uh, next is we paid $163 in utilities on the home that we are currently renting, and that is for energy bill. I'm reliant. We spent $150 to send to our friends once a month who are in Indonesia as missionaries. Uh, we spent $176.89 at uh, Fred Meyer, which is a grocery store, to get groceries as soon as we got to Portland, I believe. Um, and then we had groceries for the next, basically we we're going to be there for another week. Uh, we cut our trip uh, a little early, but we were still there for a while. Uh, we had that, those groceries delivered to us uh, because our car had a flat tire and we spent uh, $17.69 on a tip for the delivery driver. Then we paid $49.52 for a car expense, or sorry, for, for gas. It's a car expense, I think I put gas in my mom's car because uh, she was letting me borrow it because our car had a flat tire. And uh, City of Waco, $147.87, that's for the City of Waco utilities um, for our Airbnb duplex, so that's a work expense. We had to pay $451.80 in the taxes on our Airbnb. Uh, they, the city takes 7% and the county takes 2%, so um, we had to pay that. And that's due before the 20th of every month, so anytime between the 1st and the 20th you can pay it. Uh, and uh, Google um, for, I believe it's for storage, uh, for work, uh, $2.99, and then uh, Philo TV, which is what we provide for free for our Airbnb, we pay once a month at $21.65, another work expense. Total was $5,374.44. As you can see, we spent a lot of money on work expense stuff um, and a lot of money on that road trip. We had it all budgeted out though, so it worked out okay. And thank you for joining me on this video. If you have areas that you usually put money in or that you have comments on my areas that I'm putting money into, I wanna be a good steward of this money, so just let me know and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, take care, bye. Please like, comment, and subscribe.